I think in the pandemic now more than ever, it's loneliness. A lot of the appointments that me and other cancer patients have to go to or anyone with an immunocompromised system, uh, we have to do, do so alone. So whether that's a chemotherapy visit or for me, a, a three week stay in the hospital for a stem cell transplant, uh, it, it's all alone. We, we can't have family or friends in the hospital with us. So stem cell transplantation is really the only modality right now that we have that seems to be working pretty efficiently in patients suffering from hematological malignancies, whether it's leukemia, lymphoma, and, and even uh, two years ago, I've been to a conference in Ottawa, and out there, there was a physician who basically used stem cell transplantation and cured a patient with multiple sclerosis. So that was really fantastic because it shows you that a single therapy that was there for like over 20 years is now becoming a cure for a variety of other things. It's cutting edge. It's, um, you know, in the States, it's, it's an, a treatment that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars because of its sophistication. And I was lucky enough because I live in Canada and because of uh, great fundraising that the, the treatment is able to be performed on me. It's, it's a very risk, it's risky in the sense that um, the chemotherapy that the stem cell transplant goes along with is almost lethal, if not uh, brought back with a stem cell transplant um, to jumpstart the immune system again. So it, it hits a very personal and very profound note with me because uh, the reason I'm able to, to do the amazing work that we do and, and to enjoy whether it's these virtual events or anything at all is, is because of that research and that progress.